Sometimes the things you need to worry about aren't exactly on the news or even residing in the local prison. Sometimes they're crawling around your home. Join us as we have a look at some of the most deadly bugs in existence. Killer Bees now, appropriately named, these bees, also known as Africanized honeybees, can take down a human. The killer bee is named as being one of the most aggressive and dominant insects on the entire planet. And in addition to that, they're also persistent and highly intelligent. Once they're threatened, a hive of killer bees, which can range from hundreds to even thousands, can follow their target for more than a mile at a time. And if you think you can escape by diving underwater, think again. They're exceptionally patient, and when you come up for air, they're going to be right there waiting for you. When they do catch up to their target, they're going to sting it repeatedly, usually in the face and the eyes. While getting stung by one or two probably isn't a big deal, unless you're allergic of course, problems arise when you become swarmed by them. Killer bees can actually have less venom in their stingers than a regular bee, but the fact that they swarm and sting repeatedly is what makes them dangerous and deadly. It will take about 1,000 stings from a killer bee to kill a human, but I imagine that wouldn't take too long depending on how large the particular community is. It definitely wouldn't take long for a hive of, oh, say 80,000 to take you down and wipe you out. So as it turns out, the X-Files weren't exactly exaggerating. Botflies Now, you may have heard about the botfly before in some of our other videos, but did you know that they can also be deadly? In case you missed it, botflies will lay eggs on an animal or a human skin, and the eggs then work their way under the surface, after which they will mature into larvae. Then they're going to wiggle their way out from underneath the skin, often feasting on the flesh for nourishment and creating a large, gaping, oozing wound in their wake. While they may not always be the cause of death, they can release a toxin into the animal's body if squished during removal, sending it into shock. Now, usually this is only the case for small animals like rabbits. But if you successfully remove the botfly larvae without squishing them, there's also the risk of a bacterial infection, which can come from the larvae itself or leaving the gaping wound untreated. And if the host doesn't receive antibiotics, the infection can kill them in a matter of months. While they mostly attack animals, they're happy to make a human their host as well. Looks like it's time to break out those fly traps. The Kissing Bug Now if you think a kissing bug sounds harmless, you're going to be dead wrong. These pests stalk their prey at night and suck their blood as they sleep. They're called the kissing bug because when they attack people, they suck the blood from their victim's face, most often being their lips. Aside from the ick factor of a bug crawling across your lips, a single bite can actually cause allergic reactions like rashes, welts, swollen eyes, respiratory issues, and seizures. However, that's not necessarily what makes them deadly. They're known carriers of a parasitic protozoa, called Typensoma cruzi, and also known as Chagas disease. Once you're infected, the parasite then lives in your heart, and if left untreated, it can be lethal. Even though Chagas outbreaks are more common in South America, there have been a few reports of it in southern parts of the United States. Every year, 12,000 people die from the disease, so if you live in the South, you might want to sleep with one eye open. Fire Ants these tiny pests are the most aggressive type of ant in the world, and there are only about, oh, 285 species of them. Similar to the killer bee, they're going to sting you repeatedly if they're threatened. They're named fire ants because when they sting, the victim will experience an extraordinarily painful burning sensation. They also usually attack in groups, from as little as 10 to as many as a few hundred. And oftentimes, a fire ant sting causes red welts, followed by white pimple-like bumps called postules. And these can last for a few weeks. Most victims make a full recovery without needing medical attention, but in about 5% of cases, people actually die because they go into shock. So, if you're allergic to bees, there's a good chance that you could be allergic to the fire ant as well. 
Some species of the fire ant have been accidentally imported into the United States from South America, and now they're beginning to invade the southern states. So again, if you live in the south, you might want to keep an eye out for these dangerous little critters. Driver Ants The fire ant really has nothing on the driver ant, and they look just as scary as they sound. This species of ant lives in colonies of up to 22 million members, and they live in those colonies fearlessly. They travel wherever they can find food, and they all travel together in a large line with army ants on the outside, protecting the workers on the inside. Now, they aren't afraid to attack anything in their way either, even if it's a large animal or even a human. When something crosses their path, whether it be an earthworm or even a small mammal, they're going to go into action, especially if they feel threatened. When one army ant is injured by something, all of the others then swarm and attack the offender, almost acting as one large entity. For being bugs, they're also incredibly smart. Before raiding a nearby insect colony like a termite mound, they're going to plan out the attack. Even though they can sting, they actually prefer to bite their victims because it causes more pain. And if you're not fast enough, a colony of driver ants will almost definitely swarm and suffocate you. So it kind of makes fire ants look not so bad. The Giant Japanese Hornet Now if you think an ordinary wasp is scary or destructive, check out our next specimen. Giant Japanese hornets, which can grow to be three inches long, are the largest species of hornet in the entire world, and they can live in colonies of up to 700. Giant Japanese hornets feast on the larvae of honeybees, eating as many as 40 in one minute. Now, it's said that one sting from the giant hornet can be toxic enough to kill you, especially if you're allergic. Its sting contains a high concentration of a toxin that's known to be a pain-inducing chemical, and it's earned the title of the most painful hornet sting ever. However, it doesn't always kill with just one sting, but once a victim is stung, the venom then begins dissolving the victim's flesh and attracts other hornets to repeatedly sting the victim, often resulting in death. It's estimated that 40 people die every year from the giant Japanese hornet. They aren't usually aggressive, but once you upset or threaten them, they then show no mercy. Needless to say, it's probably best to steer clear from a giant Japanese hornet nest. The Setsi Fly Even though they may not look like an ordinary fly, the Setsi Fly is far from harmless. Setsi flies are a type of African biting flies, and since they feed on the blood of vertebrates, humans often turn out to be one of their prime victims. While a bite from one of these pests does actually hurt, the diseases they carry are much, much worse. In fact, two of them are actually a parasite that cause an African disease known as sleeping sickness. Depending on which parasite you contract, it can kill you in as little as a few months, or it could take several years if it's left untreated. Sleeping sickness often begins with a fever, a headache, and aching muscles, much like the symptoms of the flu. However, as it develops, it begins making you feel incredibly exhausted as well, hence the name. In advanced stages, it can infect the brain, causing personality changes, confusion, and even poor coordination. And once the infection gets in, there's very little chance of survival. Eventually, the victim will fall into a coma and then die. While deaths associated with sleeping sickness have been on the decline, they still pose a problem, especially in rural and less developed regions of Africa. Deer Ticks While deer ticks do get their name from their lifestyle of feasting on the blood of deer, they can also find their way onto people as well. Unlike the usually harmless wood tick, deer ticks are smaller and more dangerous. In fact, with a single bite, you could be infected with Lyme disease. The disease initially begins with fever, nausea, and headaches. And since it does mimic the symptoms of the flu or other ailments, it can be hard to detect in the beginning stages, often being diagnosed. Therefore, it often goes untreated, unless you know, of course, that you've been actually bitten by a deer tick. After a while, the symptoms develop into stiff joints and eventually heart failure. And the worst part, as if there's something worse than heart failure, there's no cure for it. 
There are medications that can treat the symptoms and rid the bacteria, but once you have it, you're more than likely going to experience the side effects for life. What's even scarier is that most doctors, along with the CDC, don't even believe in chronic Lyme disease, despite many patients that claim they still don't feel well months after the antibiotic treatment. The CDC also is going to claim that death by Lyme disease is not uncommon. Now, I'm not entirely sure what could be more terrifying, the disease or the lack of treatment options for recurring symptoms. Mosquitoes. Now, who would have thought that the deadliest insect in the entire world is the same creature that you encounter every summer in your backyard and on camping trips? And who would have thought that those itchy, irritating bumps on your ankle might be the least of your problems? Well, it is true, mosquitoes are the most dangerous, deadliest insect in the entire world. That's because they're responsible for at least one million deaths per year. Of course, it isn't necessarily their bite that's deadly. It's the diseases that they carry and transmit with that bite, specifically malaria. In fact, the World Health Organization claims that every 30 seconds, a child will die from malaria, and that 5 million cases of malaria are reported each year. The good news is that you can't contract malaria by being in contact with an infected person, because it's transmitted through the blood. But the bad news? Well, there are literally billions of mosquitoes that carry the disease, and all it takes is just one bite. Mosquitoes are also known carriers of dengue fever, yellow fever, encephalitis, and West Nile virus, all of which have the potential to be fatal. There are some people who find insects interesting, or unique, or even cute, but for most of us, they're just, well, bugs. While they can be seen as gross, sometimes these bugs can be a whole lot worse than just icky. Coming up, colonies of superhives, biblical-style plagues, near-fatal crashes, and more. Join us as we take a look at some of the worst insect invaders ever.